Hi, welcome to the How To video series of Project Track for Jira, a place to learn different ways to better interact with your projects and tracking them more effectively. In this video, we will summarize the options available when working with bulk operations, which will help you to execute one action on multiple projects at once. The Bulk Operations option is available by clicking over Project Track in the main menu of Jira, accessible from each view of the Project Navigator, the List view, or the Releases view. Please mind, each type of Bulk Operations applies only to the current search result of projects displayed at the Project Navigator view you'll be working on. Let's go to the List view. The Bulk Operations menu is visible inside Project Track at the top right side of the List view. The same occurs within the Releases view. If we click over the menu, we can see all the massive actions we can perform with this option. Let's start to review how to massively change a project field across multiple projects. Let's select the type of field we want to change. The options to follow will vary depending on the type of field. Once selected, a series of instructions will lead us to the change summarized in the pop-up window, and then checking the results in the Project Navigator. For further details, we encourage you to see the video for each specific type of field. Let's keep going with the next action from the Bulk Operations menu to Delete Projects. Be very careful when performing this action. Deleting a project is an action that cannot be reversed unless you back up your information first. The steps to follow deleting projects are simple. After selecting the Delete Projects option, you'll see within the pop-up window a checkbox confirming if you also want to delete the schemes associated with these projects, a summary showing the total of entities to be deleted. Following, you'll need to confirm this action, watch the progress, check another confirmation window, and voila! Another option to perform across the projects in your current view is to change the user roles alongside multiple projects at once. Within them, it's possible to add new users to specific roles by just choosing the new users and or groups to add, and then indicating to which new roles. Clearing them out of the projects. It's a simple action to take if you need to sweep the users away and or get them out from groups associated with specific roles or erasing them, which will be needed to select them, and choose from which roles we want to remove them. Now it's time to overview how to change the project lead across multiple projects. After clicking the corresponding option in the Bulk Operations menu, the steps to follow are as simple as selecting who will be the new project lead, and confirming this information in the following screen with the total number of projects where we want to perform this change the progress, the confirmation, and this change will be done. Another action to perform from the Bulk Operations menu is to change the associated layout to X number of projects with just a couple of clicks. First, choose the Layout option. Then, in the pop-up window that appears right after, let's select from a list, a previously created layout we want to assign to our current selection of projects. Then confirm it, and we will have it ready. For further details, we encourage you to check the videos we have done for each of the Bulk Operations options. Almost finishing the Bulk Operations Options menu, let's see what can be done with the Category selection. First of all, be sure the current search in the Project Navigator view you're at is the one where you need to perform this change. Click over the Bulk Operations menu, then Category. Then, it will be as simple as confirming the number of projects where we need to perform this change, and selecting the new category to assign them. Simple, huh? Last but not least, we come across the Components option. By clicking it from the Bulk Operations menu, we will get to see two different options to perform. We can remove or add components to as many projects as previously chosen in any of the Project Navigator's views. To remove the components, we just need to select from a drop-down menu which components we need to clean out of our projects at once. After that, we just need to confirm the action and do it. Now to add new components, it's a similar action to the one we do with Jira, only with Project Track's bulk operations features, we get to do it for several projects at once. To do it, we just need to name this new component. 
assign a leader, describe what it's about, and then select who will be the user responsible for the issues created with that component. The component leader, the one defined as default in the corresponding project, the project lead, or we just leave it unassigned. We also get to choose the option above to create as many components as we want by selecting this option. It's important to remark, if any of the components we are creating already exist, those will be replaced with these new settings. Then it will just be a matter of confirming this action and completing it with a couple of clicks. Across any huge, giant project portfolio in JIRA, taking any of these actions, going project after project, would take an eternity. And that, my friend, is precisely the solution bulk operations have to offer. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button and follow us on our social media channels.